Okay, hello everyone in a new video and this one we are going to explain part 1 of chapter 11 which is the chapter of mechanical waves. Then let me write here the, the title of this chapter which is given by chapter 11 which is the chapter of mechanical waves. So, in this part, which is the part one, we will introduce some properties or uh, physical quantities uh, related to the waves. In the next part, we will give the physical meaning of each of the following properties uh, by referring to the, to the wave itself. Now, let's start by the period T. So in this section, section number one, we will define what is meant by the period of the simple, uh, having the symbol T. So the period T is the time, so let me write here T, is the time required. to perform a single vibration or uh, another word for vibration, the oscillation. Now, we yet till this moment, we are not ready to give any formula for the period T because yet uh, we haven't introduced enough physical quantities. Now, the second quantity that I want to talk about, which is section number two, is the frequency F. So let me here also write that the SI unit of the period is seconds. So the SI... unit of the period t is seconds which is denoted by either s or sec so here the physical quantity is the period is the period having a symbol t its unit is seconds which is sec or s for short now as for section number two we have the frequency f So the frequency, which is denoted by small f. So what's the definition of the frequency? The frequency f is the number of vibrations. or oscillations performed by the wave here in one second. Now similarly here uh, let me introduce the assignment of the frequency. So this is the definition of the frequency. The SI unit of the frequency is given by the SI unit of the frequency which is denoted by small f is hertz and a symbol is given by H Z. So now after we have introduced two physical quantities, so now we, we are able to introduce uh, or to relate these, but before relating the frequency and the period, let me introduce another physical quantity which is given by the wavelength lambda. So the wavelength lambda
So lambda here is a Greek letter and not from the alphabetic. So we we draw it like this. It's a bit difficult to draw this symbol which is lambda. So usually lambda stands for the wavelength. Now let's define the wavelength lambda. So what's the definition? The definition is given by the wavelength lambda. Is the distance traveled by the wave during a period t? Now, yet, it's not clear what's meant by a wave, what's meant graphically by lambda, the frequency, and the period. In the next part of this video, we will refer to certain documents in order to give the physical meaning of each of these quantities. Now, the aim of this uh, video or this part is just to familiarize the learner uh, with the different units of these quantities and how to relate them with, with each other. Now, section number four. Uh, relations relations between these quantities let's say so here we have three different quantities they are given by the period the frequency and the lambda so how do we spell this letter this letter is given by let me write it here lambda so l a m b d a Now, the first formula or relation that we can introduce is that the frequency and the period are related via the following formula that the frequency is given by 1 over the period. Now, for any formula in physics, we can construct a triangle. So let's construct the triangle of this formula. So here, because we have divide, then F will be at the bottom. Sorry. Okay, F at the bottom, 1 at the top and t at the bottom now let's give the units of each quantity so that the one doesn't have unit the unit of the period is given by second and the unit of the frequency is given by hertz now let's recall a relation that we have studied in chapter in the first chapter of this year which is the 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 speed here i'm not distinguishing between average speed or instantaneous speed so i will not put an m as a subscript so the speed is given by the distance over the duration and let's construct a triangle for this formula then here because we have divide then v will be at the bottom d at the top delta t here so and let's recall the units of these quantities d in meters the duration delta t in seconds and the speed average speed or instantaneous speed is given by meters per second now so this is the first relation in this chapter this is the second relation now the third relation that we want to introduce is given by and that v is equal to lambda f so lambda multiplied by f now let's construct a triangle for this formula Uh, here because we have multiply then v will be at the top lambda and f at the bottom and what are the units of these quantities so v is expressed in meters per second in the si for sure all of these units are in the si this is in uh, hertz so and this is in meters now this is the third formula and the final formula in this chapter will be given by 
v is equal to lambda divided by t and actually this formula is coming from directly from this formula because here we have v is equal to lambda multiplied by f and knowing that f is equal to 1 divided by the period so replacing f here so plugging this here so it will be lambda multiplied by 1 over the period which is equal to the lambda divided by the period so this is the the fourth and the final formula now let's construct a triangle for this formula here because we have divide and v will be at the bottom lambda on the at the top t here the period uh, t here is uh, capital t here <coughs> Capital T here stands for the period and not for the instantaneous time. Recall that small t that carries an index either 1 or 2 or whatever is the instant time. Now here capital T stands for the period. And now let me give the assignment of each of these quantities. So this is in meters, this is in seconds, and this is will be in meters per second. Okay, so these formulas are important. And the learner must memorize these four formulas. Now, as a direct application on this on these formulas, uh, the learner is expected to solve this exercise. However, because this is just the beginning of this chapter, and I'm considering this exercise to be a direct application, let give me, let let me give you the answer key for uh, for each for each uh, question so the symbol of the period here is t uh, the name the s unit is second and the symbol is second or s so the frequency the symbol is given by f the name of the s unit is hertz and the symbol is hz hz the wavelength is lambda the name is lambda and the symbol is uh, of the unit sorry here we are talking about the unit so it is meters and the symbol is m so what's the relation between the frequency and the period here is given by f is equal to 1 over the, over the period as for 5.3 the period will be given by 0.01 seconds as for the frequency the frequency here will be given by 20 hertz so you are supposed to solve this part and to check whether the period will be given by this value here the wavelength lambda will be given by 2 meters so the speed here in this case is given by 100 meters per second in your textbook uh, the speed is given by 100 centimeters per second but here we are considering it uh, to be meters per second so change it to meter per second and as for the frequency here the frequency will be given by 25 hertz and the propagation speed here by the propagation speed they are asking me about the speed so it will be given by 0. Uh, 0. 0.75 meters per second and uh, that's it for me in this video guys in the next part we will complete the explanation of this chapter